Hello there commanders and welcome to the second battle of the match of the round. First round match between Poland and Ukraine. Ukraine has won the previous battle but it was by far the closest battle we have seen so far in the tournament. So definitely makes me excited for this battle to come. We are on Oasis. Actually from what I know about both teams, Oasis is probably the choice of the Ukrainian team and Rubicon was most likely the choice of the Polish team. As I know they are quite familiar with the maps and like to pick them uh, in scrims or in tournaments. But let's see what uh, both teams are up to. Let's disable the fog of war. Let's disable this. There we go, so we can have a bigger field of view. Spears are going to meet each other here in the tall grass on the very edge of the battlefield, uh, around E and B flank. Uh, pikemen here picked by the Polish team, they didn't opt to pick them previously. But let's see how the composition. So the Ukrainian teams, uh, Ukrainian team has two units of cavalry, triple um, repeating crossbows, so very similar to what they had in the previous battle, if not even the same. Uh, the Polish team has uh, also opted to get repeating crossbows, they've changed their approach from zero uh, ranged units to three, and they also took four cavalry units on three different players, so that is definitely a very interesting setup. Let's see. What a big fight happening here. Oh, I'm getting the flashbacks uh, with, uh, from the Russia versus Spain battle. But uh, the Polish team has won the initial volley between uh, the repeating crossbows. And the Ukraine team is pushing here towards the E already being captured. There we go. Polish team is kind of sleeping. So the Ukraine team is going to start capturing E. We'll see if they will realize. Yep, no, step, no. Okay then don't realize and yeah the fight is going on here but it's equally matched Poland versus Ukraine and this spike unit is not in pike phalanx that is quite a misplay on the Polish part as well so the Ukraine team is looking to have a slight ever so slight advantage here on this flank oh he's still already halfway captured from it. nobody is really reacting uh yeah so just leave it to that on devices c is being sort of contested two units of swords from the Polish side maybe routing nope not enough not routing the spears from the Ukrainians and C is going to be unlocked in 39 seconds. The Polish team has managed to get a charge into the repeating crossbows of the Ukrainian team. One is obliterated, the other two in a half HP, while the Polish uh, repeating crossbows are still in full half. But that can be said uh, the same about the Polish infantry, as they're slowly losing. But now they do have um, the support of their repeating crossbows, while the Ukrainian team does not. So that engagement is slowly going to in favor of the Polish team, although that advantage is not necessarily that big. See, about to be unlocked, two units from each side, two units of infantry. Uh, in terms of HP, they're also sort of equal, so C is not going to go either way very quickly. Polish team has finally realized that E has been captured, or was being captured, and Polish team has also lost all their units on the flank. Um, there was one unit of the, a different player that just died and is not going to be respawned in here. Uh, the other player just cannot heal, can bank the two units because they're still alive. So the Ukrainian team is going to capture E quite easily as there is only one defending and four or five units uh, coming from the Ukrainian side towards there. So the Polish team it needs to reinforce E as quick as possible, which is really not going to happen. They could recall the cavalry and then rush straight to E. But even that wouldn't be enough, as the Ukrainian team has a lot of spears and glaives in there. So, yeah, the cavalry wouldn't really work. Instead, the Polish team is going to uh, commit that cavalry towards C. They still have two units of infantry here. Three, one of them is retreating. The Ukrainians also have sent another unit of uh, infantry. But if that cavalry can find some... Just, that is Caesar cavalry, not Scipio. Meaning that this unit is not going to be routed because Warcry would be required. One of the units of Poland has been routed, but they are sending a blob of spears accompanied by repeating crossbows. So if the Polish team can get quickly hold of C, that may be their way back into the battle. As from C, you can launch um, nice attacks towards anywhere, really. He is still being contested. The Polish team did manage to 
put back a little bit of uh, reinforcements in here. Cavalry is also coming. Cavalry is looking to capture B, but the Ukrainian team is not going to uh, let any of that happen as they are holding their units on top of the points. And the Ukrainian team is sending their cavalry to help get E captured. Let's see, C is now being captured by the Polish team, but the cavalry charges in, is going to use O. There we go. So the Polish team needs to cut it down very quickly and prevent any reinforcements from the Ukraine from coming into. A duel, range duel between uh, repeating crossbows, looking to go us very ever so slightly the way of the Polish team, so really nice outplay in there. But the Ukrainian team has managed to get two units of spears on top of the point. The Polish team doesn't really have tools to really get uh, rid of them. They're focusing the, uh, <coughs> the cavalry in off with the repeating crossbows. Cavalry coming around, making sure that uh, uh, their own repeating crossbows will not have to bother with a winning old range duel and instead can focus on infantry. That is what the Polish team needs to do if they want to capture C. They need to focus the infantry, get rid of it, get it out of the point. Focus the units that are inside the point. Still not routing this unit somehow. Has it just mercilessly pushing for? Well, it is low neither, so probably hold the line. Is a play in here. Yep. Reflank, but just reflank applied. Find the shade as well, not hot by phalanx. There we go. Repeating crosses for position, trying to get these Ukrainian units out of there. And doesn't look like Ukraine is sending any reinforcements, at least not anytime soon. And A is wide open. If the cavalry just charges in there, there is uh, those two units of repeating crosses probably by two units of spears. And they're slowly making their way, Polish team slowly making their way towards A. They also want to fight here, they just need that infantry to go on top of A, stop panning three units frontally on the screen, god damn it. But anyway, C almost captured. Uh, the reinforcements from the Ukrainian team are not coming. There is one unit of cavalry coming though, and one unit of glaives. Are the glaives Guan Yu? They are Guan Yu, so God of War is available as well. But the Polish team has repeating crossbows, but they don't see the cavalry coming. The cavalry charge is launched, but C is being captured. So yes, nice charge, but it was too late. C captured for the Polish team, but the Ukrainian team still holds three points to the Polish too. The Polish team is now looking funny to go on top of A. They do have their cavalry, but that is Vercingetorix calf, not Scipio calf. Scipio calf is incoming though. It is going to charge into the healing zone with their off of perseverance. Bidding crossbows have spawned in there. That is not really going to matter. Uh, the cavalry nicely charges into spears. They are going to prevent them from getting out of the point. But, okay, they are not really looking forward to having that engagement. Well, it is Caesar cavalry, off not uh, available. So they need to. Oh, okay. Triple Swords just respawning here. So, yeah, the Polish team doesn't have enough steam to capture A. So they were a little bit too slow on that maneuver. A is not going to be captured. C is sort of being contested. I mean, it is locked for 30 more seconds. But once it is unlocked, the Ukrainian team may look to contest E. Will contest it, but captured by the Ukrainian team. So the points uh, are going to their account. The Polish team is sending pikes to the healing zone, now setting against it. They're just going to let them heal. I mean, they're not because they're... Yeah, um, the Ukrainian team is being trolled by the unit coherency memes. So the Polish team is sending the pikes instead on the point, or rather they're blocking uh, the incoming reinforcements, trying to prevent these three units of spears from getting in. But the Polish team simply just doesn't have enough forces in the area to contest the point. And the swords are finally going to heal up, unless they're going to get. They did get trolled, as these two players were approaching. Uh, players, soldiers were approaching. The center of the unit was detected outside of the healing zone, and the healing was disrupted again. So yeah, the current team is really, really getting trolled. But finally, this player has managed to spawn his other two units, and now Ukraine is definitely, definitely going to win in there. Polish team is concentrating most of its forces now in the center. The base is open, C is captured, so the uh, possibility of Polish team just rushing to the base is always there. And as both A and E are being contested, the Polish team is actually getting more points per second. But the contest cannot last forever, as this unit is about to be cut down left and right flank, not enough to route it. But as soon as it drops below 20 men, it is going to waver and shatter. 
contest for E has been killed, so now 2.2 points per second for the Ukrainian team to only 2 points per second for the Polish, and the Ukrainian team is also 500 points ahead, and now they are launching an attack onto D. The Polish team is heading up and respawning their units last second in there. D is now being captured, cavalry will make it into a contest, can they erupt it? There we go, surprising left flank, I think it was, routes this, um, <clears throat> routes the spears, and now the cavalry will be able to cut it down, but cavalry is having their eyes fixed on a different target. Running through Kalchup's old charge was stopped, but the repeating crossbows of the Ukraine team are disrupted and the Polish teams are not, so they can shoot at the repeating crossbows from the Ukrainian team. That being said, the Ukrainian cavalry is also maybe trying to look for a charge, but instead they have found a flank routed the Polish cavalry, but another unit of Polish cavalry has managed to find another charge into Ukrainian crossbows. The Ukrainian team is not doing a very good job at protecting the European crossbows, but maybe they are doing a very good job at baiting the Polish cavalry to just suicide one by one by one. And as you can see, out of the four cavalry units, two of them are dead, and the other two that are alive are going back to heal. So, the Polish team does not have any cavalry uh, alive, let's say, on the front lines at the moment. The Polish team is going to deny the healing zone at A, but A is not even being contested, so that is not really going to amount to much, and not like the Ukrainian team is trying to heal anything. The European crossbows though are going to uh, punish any units from the Ukrainian team that are trying to uh, get closer to D, but they're not really doing, doing a good job at splitting up and avoiding the enemy infantry, as the Polish team also failed to prevent that infantry from getting to the repeating crossbows. Polish team is launching some sort of an attack towards E, but they definitely do not have enough men as the Ukrainian forces are vastly superior in the area. The Polish team is heavily outnumbered, so E is not even going to be contested. The Polish team does not have access to elephant, uh, elephants as they did have in the previous battle. They opted not to pick them. Um, and yeah, possibly now they are paying the price for not bringing them. So the attack on A, if we could even call it that way, has been now stopped. Both teams, well, the f just the fight on this flank has been stopped. Both teams are going back to heal. Just rinse and repeat. Round, I don't know, three or four at this point. So neither of the points have been captured on this flank and both teams are just going back and forth between their healing zones. Trying, trying, trying. The Polish team was actually pretty close to capturing A, but they failed in the end. They failed to deny the healing properly, they failed to deny the capture points as well. C contested one unit of the Ukrainians in there, which is two Polish. And the Ukrainians are now pushing out of E. The healing zone is being denied for them, but that unit is not in Pike Phalanx, so they are definitely going down very soon. It is still Leonidas though, so he has hold the line. He's trying to slip away, but as long as the Ukrainians can do the heal, that is what they want using the one unit to chase them, make sure they cannot enter Pike Phalanx or cannot just go close to the healings on the night. And now the Ukrainian team is launching quite a big attack towards D. The Polish team has fewer units in the area, so the Ukrainians, if they do everything correctly, they should be able to with this engagement, but they do need to deny the healing zone. They do have one cavalry that could go there, but it decides to get a rear charge, maybe not. Now it's dodging some fire from the repeating crossbows. And the infantry here that the Polish team has thrown into the front has just three separated units are going to be slowly cut down by the Ukrainian team as the rest of their units are advancing towards D. He's been captured, Polish team has nothing on top of the point. Already captured halfway through, cavalry preventing here from the other cavalry from getting in. Uh, the Polish cavalry here also more busy defending their repeating crossbows rather than defending their own point. Now they have finally realized what's going on and are trying to make their way on top of it. The infantry is going to be stopped, cavalry can obviously run around and get on the point, but at what cost? We got the other cavalry also disengaged, the fight heavily lost by the uh, <clears throat> first thing getting cavalry. This is actually tier 5 cavalry, they have opted for the sword cavalry that is better utilized with Vercingetorix rather right than tier 6 Gungi Charius. Obviously two vastly different places, so tier 5 is sort of valid, but in a fight against tier 6 Scipio it didn't prove superior. I don't know if the defiance was available in there or not, but without it 
the fight is definitely going to go the way of the Romans and the Ukrainian team that brought them. So D is contested by one unit of cavalry. Oath is probably used in there, yep. <clears throat> but spews are incoming and the spews will be able to kill that unit quite quickly. Let's see, that's Loni does access to Shilvash, so Shilvash should make short work of the of the Presidian Scav. The Polish team is still respawning, the healing zone is sort of being denied, they need to get the Repeating Crossbows closer so that the Repeating Crossbows can deny the healing. But for now they do have another Oath Calf in there, denying the healing from the Repeating Crossbows. Spears are also going to make their way in there, and the Ukrainian team has superior forces on top of D. Just one unit of cavalry, well, technically two, but it, well, this one is very, very live. So the Ukrainian team is also looking to capture D now. C is also quite heavily contested, only three units left uh, for the Polish team, two of them are going to be cut down anytime now, there we go, only one unit left, two more trying to make their way, can the Ukrainians stop them from entering? One of them will be stopped, the other one not, they use the charge to get in, but that means the charge won't be available, well, it's still barbarian infantry charge, it doesn't do any damage anyway, so nobody cares really, it's just a mobility tool, and since the Polish team is still in control of C, they can respawn their units, which is what they're doing, and sending them to C, trying to hold it. But D has been flipped, the healing zone has disappeared for the Polish team, it was denied anyway by the Ukrainians. So D is now going to go the way of the Ukrainian team, and the Ukrainians are going to control 4 points out of 5, with the only one left for the Polish team being C, and C is being contested, so 0 points for the Polish team per second, versus 6 points per second for the Ukrainian team and they're well on their way to victory. The really last remaining hope of the Polish team is to spawn everything at sea, rush the enemy base and capture it faster than the Ukrainians can capture their base. But if you can see how the units are placed around the map, the Ukrainians are much much closer to the Polish base uh, than the Polish team is to the Ukrainian base. So again, flashbacks to the Russia versus Spain, the battle has played out in a very very similar manner, except Spanish have lost all the points, the Polish team has managed to hold onto one of the points. So there's that. And yeah, the battle is definitely much more equal in that regard, but it's still quite a convincing victory, only 1000 points uh, for the Polish team, and now they're getting zero. So yeah, it is still going to look like a very convincing victory for the Ukrainian team. And well, to be honest, they did not play the Polish team quite heavily. The E has been captured quite easily. Then also a lot of outplays on the other flank, capturing D. The Polish team kind of outplaying themselves, failing to capture A. Or well, maybe the Ukrainians were good enough to manage to contest it and hold it. So there we go. Polish desperately trying to hold onto uh, C. They have respawned a lot of units. The units that were trying to deny the healing have now been dealt with. So the stream of reinforcements towards C can now approach uninterrupted. Repeating crossbow duel again, going again the way of the Polish team. So the Polish range player are a little bit better than the Ukrainian one, definitely in this battle. Won several duels against him. The Polish team is pouring their units on top of C. But they're not going towards the enemy base. Well, maybe these three units of spears could do so. But I don't know how long it takes for three units of uh, spears or for any three units to capture the base. But I don't think it, they have enough time. So with the enough time, with the Ukrainian team being only 250 points away from victory, with six points gained per second, it's less than a minute away from the victory. And the Ukrainian team is just doing as much damage as possible in the area here denying the reinforcements for the Polish team as the uh, repeating crossbows have been charged by cavalry uh, <clears throat> repeating crossbows of the Polish team well the same is happening on the other side nobody really cares about range units, nobody defends them they just exist to bait the cavalry apparently well those are definitely harsh, time, uh, harsh times for the ranged units as you can see that infantry very heavily dominates the meta and actually both of these teams, both Ukrainian and Polish team, understanding that very well, but Ukrainian team playing just better on the day. So 2-0 victory for the Ukrainian team. So the first round has seen only victories and losses, not a single tie yet. So in the first place with three points each, Russia, China and Ukraine in last place 
or fourth place technically, uh, with zero points and I lost each Poland, France and Spain. I will see you in the second round uh, for the match between, let me quickly see, the match between China and Ukraine. That is definitely going to be an interesting match. Two winners of the round one facing each other. We'll see. We'll prove superior. Maybe we'll see a tie. I don't know. Either way, I'll see you then. But until then, I'll see you on Arena's Battlefields, Commanders.